Here are three things you need to know about borrowing a Parent PLUS loan. Hi everyone, I'm Tina Steele, the FAFSA guru, and if you like what I have to say, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link below. First thing you need to know is that if you are divorced or separated, either or both parent can actually apply for the PLUS loan. It's not just the parent who filled out the FAFSA form, and a lot of parents are not aware of this. If you happen to be the parent that did not fill out the FAFSA, you will just need to obtain your own FSA ID in order to log on and apply for that Parent PLUS loan. The second thing you need to know is that you can defer payments on the Parent PLUS loan while the student is in school for as long as they're enrolled in school. Now, if you're borrowing a significant amount of money, this can mean accrued interest and it can compound, making the loan much higher. However, it's nice to have that option if you decide you don't want to start making payments right away. And then lastly, the third thing you need to know is that the Parent PLUS loan tends to be a little bit more lenient in terms of credit approval. So I always recommend parents applying for it, even if they don't think they'll qualify. The worst case scenario is if you're denied, then your son or daughter can actually borrow an additional $4,000 in the direct unsubsidized student loan. Now remember, as a first year dependent student, they typically get awarded $5,500. So if a parent gets denied the PLUS loan, that means the student could borrow up to $9,500 for their first year in school. So there you have it, three things you need to know about borrowing the Parent PLUS loan. I hope that helps. To stay up to date with all things financial aid, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And to learn more about the programs and services I provide, check out my website at thefafsaguru.com. Thanks so much for watching.